which of the following cell counts is particularly diminished in patients with AIDS, and is used to measure disease extent? A. CD8 D cells. B. Platelets. C. CD4 T cells. D. Monocytes. E. Neutrophils. The answer is C. CD4 T cells. In AIDS, which is the most progressed stage of HIV, the cell type that is most significantly diminished is CD4 T cells. Oftentimes, the degree of disease progress of HIV and AIDS is established by monitoring the patient's CD4 T cell count across the course of the illness. The CD4 count guides differential diagnosis when patients with HIV or AIDS present with various complaints, and also guides what prophylactic measures, for example antibiotics, antifungals, are administered to these patients. While CD8 T cell, monocyte, platelet, and neutrophil counts may each be decreased for various reasons in patients with HIV and AIDS, the most substantial association between diminished cell count and HIV slash AIDS is that of CD4 T cells. How many lobes total are there in the human lungs? A. 3. B. 5. C. 4. D. 6. The answer is B. 5. There are 5 lobes total in the human lungs, the right lung has 3 lobes, the upper lobe, the middle lobe, and the lower lobe while the left lung has two lobes, the upper lobe and the lower lobe. What is the name for the topmost part of the lung? A. The apex. B. The hilum. C. The lingula. D. The trachea. The answer is A. The apex. The topmost part of the lungs is the apex. This area extends into the neck above the first rib and is the location auscultated for a diagnosis of a pancoast tumor. The lingula of the lung is a small flap of the lowest part of the upper lobe of the left lung. The hilum is the entry point of the lung for the bronchi, pulmonary artery and vein, and nerves. The trachea is not a part of the lung at all. It is the cartilaginous tube that connects the pharynx and larynx to the lung. Which of the following lists of airway structures is in order from largest to smallest? A. Trachea, bronchiole, bronchi, alveoli. B. Trachea, alveoli, bronchiole, bronchi. C. Trachea, bronchi, bronchiole, alveoli. D. Bronchi, trachea, bronchiole, alveoli. The answer is C. Trachea, bronchi, bronchiole, alveoli. The largest airway structure is the trachea. This branches into two smaller bronchi which enter the left and right lung and bifurcate further into smaller bronchioles. The bronchioles give way into the smallest structures of the lung, the tiny grape-like clusters of alveoli. What structure of the lung is primarily responsible for controlling volume of airflow during respiration? A. The alveoli. B. The bronchioles. C. The trachea. D. The bronchi. The answer is B. The bronchioles. 
The main mediator of airflow during respiration is the bronchiole. These tiny airways are wrapped in smooth muscle, which allows them to contract or relax in order to restrict or increase airflow in the lung. The trachea and bronchioles are cartilaginous rather than muscular, and are unable to constrict, while the wall of the alveolar sac is also devoid of smooth muscle, made up only of epithelial cells, capillaries, and connective tissue.